Hey, good to... Mm. Are you using a new soap or something? Got one of those scented bath things? Because I don't want this to sound weird, but you smell really good. Almost dragony. All right, that sounded weird. I've started training as a reaver. Part of the process involves drinking dragon blood. Ah, okay. That'll do it. I mean, we all smell a bit better than the elves and the humans. But you're just working it now. I've heard about reavers. Brutally efficient. Get meaner the more they hurt. Hmm. Warriors after my own heart. I've noticed that your fighting style has a lot in common with a reaver. Are you a... No. Yes, I just stumbled on a similar style. I've always been good at reading people. Part of that is knowing how to make them flinch. They can hit me, they can hurt me, but they can't beat me. Is there any reason Dragonblood smells good to you? Nothing I know of. Always had a thing for dragons, though. Most Kanari do. Maybe there's something tying us to them, deep in the blood. Or maybe it's just the dragons are really badass. You don't have any trouble with Reavers, then? Not with their fighting style, anyway. I care more about the why than the what. So, why do you start drinking the blood? I like the raw ferocity of the Reavers, the way they tear into enemies with abandon. Yeah, that makes sense. As Inquisitor, you've got to keep track of the diplomatic crap, the tactical planning. Sometimes, you just want to cut loose and rip someone apart. Just make sure you come back. There was actually another matter I wanted to discuss. What you got? Can you tell me more about Saharon? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talla Shath, my people, and the Vince. You were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog, always put a smile on my face. Tell me about the Tevinta people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood, ships on fire around us. The cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. Why do you hate Tevinta forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things, fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. And then? I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison. 
another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Saharan. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Hey, boss. How are you? You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Do you prefer creme or cremesius? Creme's faster. The chief's nicknames usually end up sticking. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Did you always know? Yes. It's not the most fortunate thing to know about yourself growing up in Tevinta, one rung above slavery. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunatlak. That's what we call someone born one gender but living like another. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. They are real men. Just like you are. Maybe your people aren't so bad after all. Don't get your hopes up, Krem. We still come down hard on the back talk. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the charges, or what's left of the rest. A lot of them went looking for stronger drinks. We've got Rocky and Skinner there, and over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. Why aren't you with your clown? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip? Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. I take it you're the company healer. Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the Blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. So, how'd you join the Chargers? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country. Or chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. You've got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. Man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose cards and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield, we'll gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our hearts be pointing up. Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team.